In this video, we'll continue with parametric programming and, um, and do some horizontal drilling examples. So uh, in this video, we're going to discuss the difference between the length and height that we talked about in the previous video and how that differs from length of face and height of face. So let's, uh, let's go up and let's change our panel dimensions back to 24 by 6. And let's um, take all of these commands and these vertical drills and remove them. If you remembered, we could hold the control key down and click on each one. Um, or we could hold the shift key down and draw a window around each one. Or if you want all the commands on a particular face, you can also come up to the top here and hit the select all. And that captures or selects everything but just on that face. So we've selected them all and let's just delete them. Alright, so let's go to um, the front edge here and let's put a hole in the middle of the length of the face and in the middle of the height. So let's go up to, um, let's go over to our drilling command. And incidentally, when we do horizontal drilling, uh, it's the same command as vertical drilling. The machine understands or the software understands that if we're on a horizontal face, that we're going to be using uh, doing horizontal drilling. So we'll click on the, the single drill command, and now it's asking us for the, our x, y, and z values. So if we want this to be in the middle uh, of the edge, then we can just put length divided by 2. And we want it in the middle of the height. And we can say, let's put that as uh, just height divided by 2. And if we want it to be a half inch deep, then just like on the vertical face, or the I'm sorry, on the top face, the, uh, the depth is into the panel, so a half inch deep hole on the top of the panel is the same as a, uh, is the same um, number as a horizontal uh, hole on, on the edge of the panel in the depth. So it's uh, a half inch, a negative half on any either face. And then we'll give it a um, eight inch diameter. And let's, let's look and see what happens. Um, it's not what we expect. Uh, the, the, the hole is not on this edge. Um, it's kind of up here in space. Let's look and get a little better value or get better understanding of where that hole really is. If we look at the 3D view, then we'll see that that hole is up here above the panel. All right, so let's see why that is. If we go back to the general view, we put uh, the Y value at height divided by two. Well, if you remember, height is always, always uh, follows whatever your panel dimensions are. In this case, height is six divided by two, this, that, that put that hole at three inches uh, in the y value and, and on this horizontal edge, y is up and down, so that's why it put it up here in space. So the way that we would um, put this in the middle of, of this face using the, the h parameters to say height of face uh, or hf. So if we say hf divided by two, now that puts it in the middle of that edge. So um, we could actually take this hole and put it on any of these other faces. However, we do have to make one other change, and that is to the length parameter. In this case, length of this face um, is 24. And you can see your length of the particular face here in this edge, and then down at the bottom is your length, height, and thickness of the overall panel. So um, length of this face happens to be the same length as the, as the overall panel. So if I wanted to take this hole and paste it onto this edge, then I would need to change my length parameter, otherwise it would end up out in space uh, because our length parameter is L divided by 2 or 12. So let's go ahead and change this to length of face divided by 2. Hole doesn't move uh, as we expect, but let's copy. Let's go up here to the copy command, copy that hole, and let's come over to this horizontal edge and just paste it. All right, and it goes right in the middle of this face because we've used the length of face and height of face parameters and they adjust, uh, the length adjusts to this new dimension. So we could go and copy this um, or paste it on all four edges. And for that matter, we could, we could paste it on the top edge of the panel as well. So this puts it, because we've used length of face and height of face, and that's parametric and adjusts to the actual face we pasted it on, then we can put that hole wherever we want on any edge and it adjusts itself parametrically. As well, we could come up and change our dimensions back to something that's square, and everything still adjusts and moves parametrically. 
So now you can see the difference between length and length of face and height and height of face and where that, um, where that can help you. Um, another rule of thumb is just to always use LF and HF. And then you could, if you want to copy it later on to a different face, you know it will work. So um, if you're only programming on the, on the top face, then L and, L and H are sufficient. But if you think you might want to move it to a different face at some point, then go ahead and use LF and HF, and then you don't have to go back and change anything.